Uh, welcome, Dr. Cousins. I actually had uh, the pleasure of meeting you once before a few years ago before uh, before the pandemic. Yes. So um, so let's go ahead and, and get right into it. I'm going to ask you some some questions as part of the uh, as part of the panel. Um, and then when Dr. Uh, sorry, excuse me, when Brian Clement joins us, we can you know perhaps ask him the questions that are relevant for him as well. So one of the topics we had Neil Bernard on earlier today, and he you know he has his book Reversing Diabetes. And um, the traditional thinking is that diabetes is caused by sugar. And uh, I think it's uh, it's more in the plant-based world and especially from Dr. Bernard's perspective uh, that uh, it seems to be fat that is actually the root cause of, uh, of diabetes. So um, what is your perspective on diabetes and, uh, and, so, and fat? So in the, in the 40s, people thought it was fat, okay? and particularly animal fat. And that's because animal fat uh, does cause diabetes. Now, what does it do? Because we need to kind of get an eye thing is, is going on. Um, first, animal fat is toxic to the beta cells of the pancreas, which make insulin. But that's really important to understand. And that's animal and that's also fish. Fish's fat is even more toxic. It's the most toxic. People who eat fish two to three times a week have significantly more diabetes. So we need to know what fat does. It increases what we call insulin re resistance, which is the body's, um, it basically blocks the body's response to insulin, forcing higher and higher insulin. So it kind of moves people, uh, the system gets exhausted because it's having to produce so much. So the beta cells basically collapse and therefore you move into to diabetes. So the animal fat, not plant fat, I think it's a very important distinction. Um, also, besides... Um, it also blocks the GLUT4 receptors, which is receiving insulin in the muscles. Now, sugar also causes a major problem. And so after the 40s, they began to see that a high carbohydrate diet, and particularly a lot of sugar, also causes diabetes by again exhausting the system it having to produce lots of insulin to be able to keep up with it. Now, this is what hasn't been included, animal protein. Mm -hmm. So, and I mean animal, not plant protein. So animal protein has lots of leucine and methionine. Leucine in particular also attacks the beta cells of the pancreas and also um, increases aging and disrupts the mTOR pathway. These are all things that affect the picture in a bigger way. Now, so we're actually just said animal fat, sugar, and that's glucose and fructose. There is a mistake that people think, oh, fructose is different. Fructose does not immediately raise the blood sugar but disrupts the leptin um, signaling and insulin signaling. So it disrupts the whole balance of the system and definitely is connected with the increase in diabetes when it was introduced, I think, in the 90s. Um, the, the year after it was introduced, the rate of diabetes in, in the U.S. went up uh, like 2,000%. What was this that was introduced? In the 90s? Fructose. Okay. okay. In a big way. In a big way. And what I'm saying is, uh, so fructose plays a role. Now, it's as they say, it's different than glucose because it indirectly does it. Fructose is metabolized in the liver. Okay. But also fructose causes about five times more brain inflammation than glucose. It also tends to stimulate cancer about five times more. 
the, uh, the can yeah the cancer cells love fructose about five times more five to ten times more than they love glucose so you got a few things going and this is why you see you know brian will talk about this but uh, they don't really have a lot of fructose and glucose at at, at the institute when we don't when i'm working with people with cancer we please stay away from all glucose and fructose products because it stimulates it um so the the I go back to leucine for a second the vegan diet is lower significantly lower in leucine and methionine than the meat based diet and i think that's an important piece to understand um meat also contains what we call ages which is glycosylated um substances and that definitely increases the rate of diabetes so that's another piece here um and, and i was i say fish is the highest risk and people think fish is safe it's not really particularly safe and uh, really it's a high risk for diabetes because it's so actively fish fat particularly destroys the beta cells of the pancreas um and in addition, I'm going to add eggs because uh, one egg per week increases the rate of diabetes by 76% and three eggs per week triple it. So we, we have the full range. So in terms of diabetes, the fast, the best diet is clearly a vegan diet that's lower uh, you know that's fairly low in carbohydrate i find when i'm with my treatment program 25 to 35 percent of uh, healthy complex carbohydrate you know leafy greens and so forth uh, is where we go and once people are healed we do 25 to 45 percent i do not go like 70 percent for carbohydrate it's way too much for people uh, who have a tendency for diabetes. Mm -hmm.